This is why I still use a plain old vanilla JavaScript fetch command in my web applications rather than using something like TRPC, React Query, or SWR. I know, I know, this is kind of a shocker, maybe potentially, dare I say, sacrilegious in the developer community because everybody these days is talking about how great TRPC is, how great React Query is, how great SWR is. And don't get me wrong, they are phenomenal pieces of technology. I've used them myself. I've built a whole application in TRPC before and it was a great developer experience, but this is why why I am no longer using any of those fancy libraries, fancy frameworks. I'm just using plain old, good old vanilla JavaScript. Let's get into it. Now, this all started back when I was building my very first TRPC application using the T3 stack, because look, I'm just like you. I consume a lot of developer social media. I saw Theo's video about the T3 stack tutorial, and I was like, oh my God, this is phenomenal. I'm going to try this out. I had a great time using it. But then Next.js 13 came out, and then at the time, TRPC and the T3 stack in general did not have direct Next.js 13 support. So then I was stuck in a predicament. I was like, okay, what do I do? I really want to use Next.js 13, but TRPC isn't supported. But at the same time, I want to use TRPC, but Next.js 13 wasn't supported. What was I supposed to do? And here's the thing. I know that most people would be like, dude, it's not that important. Just use whichever one you want. But maybe this is something that's wrong with me mentally. But for some reason, those small decisions took so much mental bandwidth out of me. I was like, oh my God, like what do I decide to do? And I spent like multiple days going back and forth, figuring out what technology do I move forward with? And instead of just picking one. So I lost so much time and I wasted so much time and brain power. And after having this like mini existential crisis about which technology that I should use, that's when I decided like I am gonna try to limit the amount of frameworks that I use as much as I possibly can. And I think that this is really important for software engineers in general, because at the speed with which technology moves, there's always like a new game changing, like life changing technology that's gonna make you a 10x better developer. And don't get me wrong, they often do. Like they're really, really powerful ways and powerful tools to handle a lot of the developer experience for you. If you end up using too many different frameworks and too many different libraries at once, then you're always going to be waiting on the side, waiting for your other favorite library, favorite wrapper to play catch up to support the latest technology. And in this case, that's how I felt waiting for TRPC to have support for Next.js 13. And they actually finally came out with support maybe like a month ago, finally. But Next.js came out like almost a year ago at this point. So in general, with my entire tech stack, I'm just trying to keep it as simple as I possibly can. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not crazy enough just to write applications in plain JavaScript or even using something like jQuery. I still use React. I don't plan to move away from React. Specifically, I use Next.js 13 and I don't plan to move away from Next.js 13 anytime soon. But other than that, I try to be very, very picky about what additional libraries I want to add into my projects because I don't want to ever run into the situation again of wanting to wait for one of my favorite frameworks to play catch up and support like Next.js 13 again. It just wasn't really fun and I don't want to do that again. I'd rather spend my time coding rather than waiting to code because I'm stuck waiting for one of my favorite frameworks to support the latest and greatest technology that I use. And I'll be honest, Fetch is pretty good. So while it is true that because I use Fetch, I do have a little bit more extra code in throughout my library. You know, I don't have automatic like loading states. I don't have automatic error handling and I have to handle all of that myself. I also don't have end to end type safety immediately out of the box. I also have to handle that myself. At the end of the day, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I'm personally okay with having to write those small additional lines of code rather than having to wait for all of my other frameworks to support one another. I've just been going on like this really aggressive hunt lately just to be as simple bare bones as possible, which I think is pretty anti with what's going on in like the current software engineer ecosystem where I feel like tons and tons of new libraries and new tools and new technologies and they're great, but I don't think I'm going to be using them anytime soon. I'm okay with sticking with good old reliable.